here for questions. Raise your hand function and we will call on you. All right, we'll start with Brent Hubbs, then Vince Ferrar. Tyler, what's the hardest thing about uh, going from high school to the college level at the position you're playing? And how would you assess what, what you've accomplished through, to this point in your freshman year? Uh, really, the biggest difference for me is just the level of physicality. And uh, in high school, I got a lot of times where maybe um, we're playing a lesser opponent, but up here, uh, everybody's good and everybody's here for a reason. So uh, it's just being consistent in um, all the technical things. And uh, that's been the biggest thing for me. And um, uh, based off of the success I've had this year, it's a blessing. But uh, I still feel there's a lot of areas where I need to improve and, um, and touch up just to get a, a little bit more of that success we're talking about. As a follow-up, what are some of those areas that, that you're talking specifically about that you're going to focus on the back half of this season? Uh, one of the main areas is my pass rush. Uh, I feel like I've struggled with that a lot of times this year, um, more so than the run. But uh, yeah, just really um, spending extra time just uh, as much as I can just to get a little bit better each and every day. Tyler, describe the mental part of the game. That's such a unique position where you have to understand so many different things. But what's that adjustment been like mentally to, to, to know assignments and, and recognize things on the field? Uh, it's been huge for me. Um, just spending extra time with my coaches. Uh, like you said, learning the game. Um, come from high school, you uh, it's kind of just see ball, get ball. But uh, up here, recognizing formations and um, the depth of the back and uh, just knowing what you're going to get before the ball snap uh, has been huge. And um, a lot of my success is just having time to just see, like I said, formations and um, just small things like that that can help you. Jimmy Himes, then Patrick Brown. Tyler, have you played about as much as you thought you would as a true freshman? Uh, coming in, I knew we had a great room with a, a lot of great people in uh, the outside linebacker room. So I really just came in with uh, really just trying to take up as much knowledge as I can and just learn and try to get better. But uh, I've just been able to step in, and it's been a blessing to be able to play as much as I have, um, if that answers your question. Do you see yourself as an outside linebacker or potentially a defensive end? Could, could you do either one? Uh, yeah, I, I definitely uh, would like to do either one, uh, whatever will help us win and uh, give us the best chance to do so. Yeah, but uh, I'm really comfortable with my hand in the dirt or, uh, like you said, playing outside linebacker. Tyler, you said you wanted to get better as a pass rusher and, and maybe you've, you've been better as a, as a run defender for I think a lot of freshman outside linebackers. It's probably the reverse. They're probably better pass rushers when they first get here. Why do you think you've been better as a run defender uh, through this point of your career? Uh, really, um, I feel like my pass rush has struggled just due to uh, just small things like uh, opening my hips or just certain stuff like that. But uh, I feel like the run, um, I feel like I'm kind of a little bit of a big guy. So I feel like that's uh, helped me a little bit. But even in that, uh, I got to work on a lot of stuff like hand placement and um, eye discipline. There's a lot of things I can get better at. David Oven and Austin Price. Uh, yeah, Tyler, where, what are the things that you're, you, know, you mentioned hand placement and those kind of things. What are the things that, that you're sort of working on, you know, specifically in that realm of the sort of finer points of playing outside linebacker? Uh, yeah, hand placement's a huge one, but uh, ball get off is, is another thing I work on every day. Uh, just being able to, like I said, recognize things. Uh, coming in as a freshman, it, this uh, game's a lot bigger than high school and a lot different. So I'm just trying to um, basically learn how to play in this league and uh, how to be successful here. Tyler, you, you talked about being a bigger guy. Um, your, your body was ready for college when you got here, but how has it still changed being in a college weight room and working out in a college weight program and, and, and having a nutritionist and stuff? How, how do you feel like your body's changed? And then two, um, how much do you feel like that has really helped you against the run because you came in, you know, a, a bigger type guy? Uh, I think AJ and his guys and the strength staff have done an incredible job. Uh, I feel like all of our workouts, I get stronger every single day and it's, uh, it's helped me stay healthy a lot and um, I really do appreciate them. But yeah, uh, I feel like being a bigger guy, it helps me take on the blocks. But uh, like I was saying, there's still so many things that I can improve on, just uh, like block shedding, uh, recognizing the blocks that I'm getting, uh, transitioning in the pass rush quicker. It, it, the list goes on of the things I can improve on. All right, we'll go Gustavo, then Jimmy Himes. 
Uh, Tyler, in terms of your sacking, you had uh, two uh, six assist sacks and eight solo sacks, total 14 sacks this season. Do you see sacking being one of your strengths this season? How do you approach your being uh, in terms of your sacking this season? Uh, well, in terms of that, uh, I just feel like a lot of the tackles I've made haven't necessarily been um, off of my own will, just uh, kind of being in the right place at the right time. But uh, yeah, definitely. I feel like when I get more consistent with the details I was talking about, I feel like those numbers will go up and I feel like we'll have more success. Tyler, have you studied good pass rushers, maybe in the NFL, to help hone your technique in that regard? Oh, 100 uh, percent. Mm -hmm. I definitely like to study a lot of the pass rushers in the league, just um, taking a little bit from each great one and uh, just trying to piece together my uh, my own game. But even not even the NFL, but just people in my room like Roman and Kavan and um, DeAndre, all those people, they do um, specific things uh, very high level. So I just try to watch them during practice and just see what I can improve on from their game. Who are some of the NFL guys you've looked at? Uh, for me, I like to watch a lot of Cameron Jordan, uh, Khalil Mack, and just certain people that uh, that rush how I think I can um, be successful with doing and just uh, people who have similar body types to mine. Matt Ray. <clears throat> Tyler, you got in pretty early against South Carolina and had two quick tackles and helped uh, solidify the edge in that game. But for you, what did that moment mean? Just get in and play meaningful snaps right away and, and know that you were probably going to be a big factor for this team moving forward. Uh, it was a blessing just being able to go in and help my team uh, make those two stops and those two different drives. But uh, yeah, it's a, uh, it's been a great opportunity for me, and I'm just thankful that the coaches trust me enough um, through my practice habits to be able to put me in the game. And um, like you said, those meaningful downs. And uh, yeah, it's just been great to be able to go out there and uh, help this team be successful. Rick Russo. Tyler, with uh, Latrell going down, that's a tough thing. Uh, how does that affect the defense, especially the line going into Saturday? You know, we, uh, we love Latrell. He's a huge point, uh, a huge piece of what we've been successful with. But um, as a team, we're just um, coming together and we're just trying to be stronger and um, be more consistent in everything that we've been having to take care of. Any other questions for Tyler? All right. Thanks, Tyler. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys.